When you think about Lancashire, a few things come to mind. The lovely countryside, Hot Pot, the Lancashire Rose, and of course, Blackburn Rovers. But now a new disease is starting to rear its ugly head. Something too shocking to pronounce, even more terrible to look at. But for the purpose of this video, it must be done. I'm talking about the cretin to the earth, that is, Burnley FC. Over recent years, a man named Sean Dyche has put life back into the scummy little town. And has even threatened to showcase them to the fashionistas of Europe. But this cannot happen. It must be stopped. But how? I'll tell you how. I'm going to destroy this club from within. <laughs> well, folks, welcome back to episode number, what is it, 25, 26 of my 2018 Football Manager Game Save, also dubbed Bad FM, in which we try and drag Burnley out of business now, since you've been gone. Um, a fair amount has been going on, so let's bring you up to speed. Uh, um, like, if you're new to this, we try and do um, a month or a couple of games per month per episode. So in the last episode, we were all the way back in October, and I think we took on Everton and then Huddersfield in the uh, in the league. So since then, we have lost to Sheffield United 3-1. Uh, lost to Brentford, who were up, up towards the top end of the table, 4-1. Uh, then we beat Notts Forest 3-1, Fulham 2-0. Uh, we lost to Swansea, and right here, right now, hot off the press. I've just beaten Millwall 3-1 to uh, get us still in the in the around around about the right spot for this uh for this season let's take a look at the table before we get into the deep thick of things here we are ninth right now ideally i want to end up around about sixth um so that we do just enough um to to convince the board that we are we are you know we're trying our best to get ourselves back to the premier league but we're not going to get there now in this episode this is a cracker already waiting for you we're going to take on Reading at turnmore then we head over to ewa park baby and this is going to be uh, a cra <laughs> a good one. It's going to be a good one because uh, obviously diehard Rovers fan here, and obviously I'm trying to make Blackburn, um, I'm trying to make Burnley uh, suffer this season. So they're going to get absolutely humiliated in this game against Blackburn Rovers. Anyway, so how how can I how can I control such an event? Well, we'll have to wait and see, shall we? Anyway, let's speed on over and take a look at the first game up against Reading. So here we are, folks, with the first game of this video, and we are taking on Reading at Turdmore. Now, Reading currently find themselves in 21th. Uh... So here we are, folks, with the first game of this video, where we take on Reading over at Turdmore. Now, Reading currently find themselves in 21st spot. Now, as for Burnley, we are ninth. Um, the two sides have played twice um, since the creation of this game save, and we have yet to taste defeat. But do we want to get defeated here? I'm not too sure. I think we actually want to win this one because we're going to lose the next one. Um, and we'll lose quite embarrassingly. Anyway, let's kick on forward and, uh, and, and and get this game underway. So my start level for this match is like this. Hart and goal, Ward, Tompkins, Cahill, Long, Harrison, Coyote, King and Lamella, Bamford and Wells up front. And I'm making sure I'm going to stick Montalivio on the bench for Okazanaki. Have I got a decent striker on the bench? I don't really. <sighs> I'm going to have to stay on and maybe take this fellow off. Now, if you hear some funny uh, crunching or gnawing in the background, that is Luna. It's not me. I'm not biting my nails off because I'm uh, completely calm as you like. But Luna is uh, very angsty and keeping, making sure we play by the rules, especially in this game. And here we are. Packed up turf more. Last minute huddles by both sides. And Q Redding will get us off. And he said keep your arm there. But they do look alike. Wells with the free kick, long distance, plays it forward to Lamella, comes back out to Wells. He strikes it from distance, and Burnley have their noses in front. That was a bit of a peach of a goal, really. Second chance Sunday for uh, Naki Wells as he gets it back from uh, Moore. Long-range strike, keeper still blinded by the amount of players in front of him. And Burnley get their noses in front. And here come Redding. Coyote breaks it up there. Powers forward and sets up Bamford to King. Picks up Lamella on the right-hand side. Crosses. Patrick Bamford off the, off the bar. Lamella strike. Comes off the defender and goes out for a corner, which he will take. Puts it towards what Bennett clears. And Redding can breathe again. Here come Redding now. Lucas loses it. Ward sets up Bamford. Pulls it back to Harrison. Kiyate to Wells. Already got one goal. But it's out to Long and lobs it forward to Bamford. And he's brought down. And it's going to be a pen. And who's going to take it? Not too sure. 
don't know who takes my penalties these days. It is Lamella. And he strikes at home. And Burnley now in cruise control. That's his fourth goal of the season. Eric Lamella playing a trade at Burnley. Would you believe it? Um, yeah. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. So let's just take a look at the current state of play at the table. Now Rovers are in uh, 14th. But they're going to get gifted a free pointer um, in the next game. Because they're going to get smashed. I mean, no, no, no. We're not, uh, they're not going to get smashed. We're going to get smashed. Sorry. Woohoo. Take that all back, folks. Anyway, we are in seventh spot. We're doing good. We're doing good. That's that's in and around about the place we want to be as we get closer to halftime. And there is the whistle. 2-0 up. Up against Reading. Second half. Kicks off. Wells chases this long ball. Oh, my goodness. Nearly a, a goal straight from kickoff. That would have really put it to bed. It already is in bed, I think. You know, if I actually tried with this Burnley team, I think we could we probably blitz through this league um, quite comfortably in the end. But as the seasons go on, uh, the the talent is drifting away. I do lose a lot of of our better players. Um, but anyway, Bamford. To Cuyate, back to Harrison now, who floats it towards Wells. He's got the uh, bit between the teeth today. But yeah, looking good. Looking good for the three points. And uh, in fact, we are still seventh, which is good. Lastminute.com, what we got here. De Poitre, he used to be on our books. Uh, De Silva Lopez now for Reading. He's hacked down, and that is it. 2 0 Burnley win. So we're gearing up, folks, for the East Lancashire Derby up against Blackburn Rovers over in Ewood Park. This is the first time that these two have locked horns since I've taken over. And uh, yeah, I'm going look forward to this one um, because Blackburn are going to win already. I'm telling you, right here, right now. And it could be a landslide. So here we are, folks. It's been, it's been a long time coming, but Blackburn Rovers take on Burnley at Ewood Park. Everything's on the line here. A lot of uh, bragging rights, should I say, now. Rovers currently find themselves in 14th spot. They deserve much better than that. As for Burnley, we are in 8th uh, spot. Um, and a win for us would put us in uh, the, the contention to get maybe into that 6th spot, which I'm, which I'm after. But, folks, we're not going to get it today. We are not going to get it today. I'm telling you right here, right now. Get your popcorn out. This one's going to be a belter. Okay, folks, here we go. We've... Uh, with um, oh, this is this could, this could end up being absolutely um, uh, I don't know bonkers, but we'll give it a go anyway. Anyway, Maxim Chimbonko Motang will go in goal. That's right, he goes in goal for Burnley. Lamella, Okasaki, Bamford, and Wickham with Harrison make up a flat back five of uh, attackers playing in defence. Baines, Jagielka, Long, Anderson, and Ward. A more of a defensive lineup in the middle of the park, uh, and that is my midfield. Yeah, with with a a, a traditional five five uh, formation with the goalie. Which is not a goalie. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's go. Come on, Rovers. Smash these dingle six-fingered weirdos and see how we get on. A lot of space here for the likes of my big boy, bad boy here, Elliot Bennett. And the old tricky Ricky Smallwood. Uh, Derek Williams, Lenahan, and Raya. Come on, run right on these boys. I'll even let these guys, who were not real Rovers, uh, to run right and get a maybe 20, 10 goals apiece, eh? Here we are. Packed out Ewood. They're in for a spectacular here. And Burnley kick us off. If we manage to pull off something here, I will be very, 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 very concerned with, this, with the engine that is FM18. Bennett is hacked down. Kane now keeps it alive and it just trickles in. Uh, oh, some perlers already. Perlers. Let's have a look at that bad boy again. Cornelius to Bennett. Hacked down by Jackie Elka. But Kane keeps alive, whips it in there, and Lamella, what, even though he is a, an amazing player, he should not have done that junk. Uh, anyway, and Chupa, Chupa Montaigne was, you know, so far he's doing all right, though, and he's at the one goal. Here comes Smallwood, though, Lan Leandro for Rovers, Vincente Gomez to Leandro. They're thinking about it, Smallwood takes his time, uh, Gomez now over the top for Aarons, Rolando Aarons to Cornelius, and it's two, 15 minutes gone. 2-0 down. Rovers are taking the piss. They're not really taking the piss, though. They're uh, they're being quite 
reserved a little bit. I'll be a little bit miffed that they don't put five past on here, at least. Anyway, Cornelius makes it two. Come on, who have I got on the bench here? Chupamotang plays it short to Wickham, to Anderson, to Jagayelka. Long, the furthest man forward, to Anderson. Ward, no one's really making any runs. Harrison punts it long for nobody. And here comes Kane now. Leandro for Rovers. Gomez, Smallwood, Leandro. Back to Gomez. They're toying around with... Because it is a packed out midfield. Bennett now on the right-hand side. Whips across in. Ah, Rolando Ar Arons. Again, these names are not familiar to me. They're not real rovers, but they'll they'll do. They're wearing the blue and white, so it counts. We're not even going to look at that again because we could be here a while. A sub-goalkeeper to play in goal instead of having an outfield something. Yeah. Nah. We're, we're, we're good. We're good. 3 0 down. Leandro with a long-range free kick. That's a small wood. Big dick. Come on, boy. To Williams. He wants a piece of the action now. What can he do? Can he whip across it? No, Smallwood gets it to Leandro from distance. No, Aaron's. Cornelius taps it in there. And it is four. Blackburn Rovers, 4-0 up. 36 minutes gone. They're absolutely pissing all over Burnley. I mean us. Yeah. I'm not even going to look at that again. Can I actually see an actual Rover score? Can again Bennett score? Anyway, Lamella to Baines to Jagielka. It's hacked down by Cornelius Sickham. Smallwood and Kane to Leandro. Smallwood. Gomez. They're building again from the middle of the park. Aaron's left-hand side. He'll get crossing. Cornelius is in there, but he heads over. Should have done better, if I'm honest. Look at these ratings. They're not that bad, considering you're 4-0 down. So the East Lancashire Derby going in the favour of Blackburn Rovers at the moment. Second half gets underway. Rovers will kick us off. Just the 4-0 down. It's not... It's not a landslide. Here comes Rovers, though. They want to add to the tally. Aaron's Gomez is hacked. Lamella. That's the best effort we've had so far. And the players come back uh, deep, deep, deep into the uh, Burnley half. Gomez to Aaron's to Williams now. Gomez is hacked by Long. Smallwood sets up Bennett. And Cornelius smashes it home. It's 5-0 now. Last 30 minutes of the game. It's not a riot, but it's 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 bad. Cornelius with the hat trick. It's going to be actually it might get added to this. Cornelius in there, headed clear as far as Smallwood now for Rovers to Kane on the right hand side. Back to Leandro Bennett. I need him on the score sheet, but he'll get a cross in there. And Vincente adds the sixth. Sorry. As we see here, Rovers six now. Burnley nil. Are we going to get anything, any highlight to talk about, really? Nope. Long to Jagielka to Ward, the first man forward once again. He's hustled back a bit. And now to Long to Ward. Lenahan now cleans up. Is he a substitute? This might get a completely out of control here. Kane to Bennett. Smallwood. I wonder what the after effects will be on this uh, the Burnley team here. Because this is uh, a nightmare, nightmare scenario. Oh, off the bar, cleared by Wickham. Let's just throw in some, uh, I'm getting a bit embarrassed for him now. I need to kind of keep it as 6-0 would be all right. Maybe 7-0, something like that. Yep, it could have been, it could have been a hell of a lot worse. Super Motang now, Lamella, Jagielka, Baines. If we can score, that would be uh, amazing. But no, here come uh, Burn, uh, Blackburn with Kapuska, whoever that guy is. And it's seven. Blackburn Rovers seven. Burnley nil. Beautiful. Beautiful. Just what the doctor ordered here. Not too bad though. Seven nil. Seven nil in the end. Bragging rights will remain with Rovers. Feels good. Seven nil. Now what has that done to uh, the fans? Are probably livid. The board are probably livid. But we're still in eighth spot, so we just need to bounce back accordingly. But it feels good to put a big old, uh, a big old fat statement down here that uh, despite what we got at Burnley, we're not going to beat Rovers. So it's pretty nasty, pretty nasty when you look at it. Um, but hey, so that result, folks, leaves Burnley in eighth spot, and Blackburn Rovers have actually climbed up the table to ninth uh, with that massive win for them, gives a big boost of confidence. But let's have a quick look, make sure we're not going to face the wrath of the board here. 
uh, stable. That's always good. So they probably don't really count that as a as a, as too bad of a result. But anyway, that wraps up this episode. In the next one, if I can get there, uh, we're going to steamroll forward into the month of December. Uh, probably come back around about Boxing Day, um, maybe QPR, Sheffield Wednesday. Or, or, yeah, yeah, we'll do those. We'll do those. Um, so if you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed seeing Rovers run riot over Burnley, give a good old thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, smash your subscribe button to keep your bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers related and, of course, Football Manager related. Uh, and World Football related. We've got it all here under one roof. Uh, so until next time, thumbs up, subscribe. The journey does continue. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, Football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope. <laughs>